Hello all, my name is Krish Naik and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I am super excited to launch my new Udemy course, Mathematics Basic to Advanced for Data Science and Generative AI. Now from past three to four months, I was getting a lot of questions from many people saying that Krish, what are the prerequisites of mathematics that we should know in order to learn data science? And remember one thing guys, mathematics is just not like you should actually know how to solve a numerical problem. No. You should really understand how these mathematical concepts are specifically used in data science use cases, data science concepts, and many more things. Let it be with respect to machine learning, deep learning, how do we use in a real world application? So considering this, if you also have the similar kind of question, and if you are also curious to understand how mathematics is specifically used in data science, machine learning, NLP, or deep learning, then this course is definitely for you. In this course, we will be mastering the foundation of linear algebra, stats, probability, and differential calculus. We'll just not be learning. As I said, my main aim of this particular course will be to make you understand how these concepts relate to a real world use cases. Now guys, now let's go and check the entire course syllabus. So if I talk about this particular uh, course it is more than somewhere around 22 plus hours of content which is approximately around 23 hours and i'm also looking for some more concepts that will be important which i will also be recording as we go ahead so it, this may actually become 25 to 30 hours as we go ahead you know in probably in one month time now if i go ahead and see with respect to the syllabus we start with uh, introduction to linear algebra we understand about scalar vectors addition of vectors multiplication of vectors what is vector database you know vector multiplication, this all are application. If I talk about vector database, introduction to matrices and application, how it is used in data science, everything is basically covered. Just to give you an idea about how the video looks like, every concept that I've actually explained, it will be in terms of writing like this, right? I will be writing each and everything. Along with this, I will also be explaining about the entire application part and all, right? So how it is used in natural language processing, how it is used in feature engineering, how it is used in word embedding. So all these kind of concepts, right, which is actually required right now, because of what I've, after discussing with many, many people, I've found out that they lack this specific thing. You know, they'll understand the concepts, right? But how these concepts are actually used in the real world application, right? That is really very much important, right? So first of all, we understand the concepts. We'll try to, uh, we'll understand in a way that why it is really important and then we talk about the applications so first of all we go ahead with linear algebra then we understand about something called as functions and transformation transformation uh, if you don't know about function and transformation guys uh, in every module of the life cycle of a data science project we do some kind of transformations that is actually required you know and what exactly is transformation why it is actually used you should definitely know it so along with this, if you probably go ahead and see with respect to the vector transformation, linear transformation, why linear transformation, linear transformation, visualization, all these topics have been specifically covered. Then we go with inverse function or transformation. Uh, then you also go ahead and understand about eigenvectors and eigenvalues. This is one of the core concept in one of the most amazing algorithm, which is called as dimensional reduction of principal component analysis, which is important to understand. Then after this, we will be covering about statistics. This statistics course uh, that you will be seeing over here, it includes everything from descriptive to inferential statistics. And here the main aim will be that how do we un apply concepts? You know, if I talk about descriptive statistics, what concepts we specifically apply for what kind of use cases in inferential statistics? Uh, if you probably just go ahead, if I just reload this particular uh, page, just to see this. Okay. So here you'll be able to see um, in inferential statistics, if you just go ahead and see the syllabus. We have covered every type of hypothesis testing from P value to hypothesis testing to Z test to T test to Z test versus T test to type one to type one uh, type two error. What is Bayes theorem, confidence interval, margin of error, everything is probably covered. Not only this, we have also, we'll also see hypothesis testing using chi-square test, ANOVA test and all, right? Now this is the entire statistics. In most of the courses that I have actually seen in the market right now, when they talk about mathematics, they just include many topics from statistics, but they don't include much topics from linear algebra or differential calculus. And that is what is the thing that I've actually found out, you know, after exploring multiple courses. Not only that, in most of the courses, I've also seen that whenever they are teaching linear algebra or differential calculus, they are not able to talk about the application part. 
like how it is useful in data science for which kind of use cases where do we specifically use it and along with this i have also uh, had a communication with many students many of my subscribers saying that what specific things they actually lack right and they have actually provided all those kind of feedback and based on this the entire syllabus has been designed so if i talk about differential calculus you will be able to see what are slopes how to calculate it introduction to derivatives um i have also included limits you know limits is an amazing topic with respect and it is used along with uh, derivatives itself along with this you have power rules and derivative rules this is also really important we use this in machine learning we use this in deep learning specifically training in artificial neural ne network if you remember if you have seen some of my videos like optimization how do we do the weight updation everywhere we will specifically use this topic along with product rules along with chain rule of derivatives i hope everybody knows something about chain rule of derivatives how does a chain rule of derivative is basically calculated here i have focused more on the mathematical intuition and with respect to its application right you can definitely go ahead and watch and finally after covering all these topics three main module is also there application of linear algebra stats and differential calculus where we have covered some algorithms like uh, simple linear regression some dimensionality reduction and with respect to deep learning what is perceptron and ann right so that whatever concepts you have learned you get an idea how it is basically used in all these particular concepts right overall if you see the course content is somewhere around 23 hours approximately and this is going to go till 26 hours because i have some more topics planned which i am actually looking at you know uh that will get just get uploaded within a month time along with this uh, the price right now as you know that i focus on affordable courses in udemy so the price will be 399 for the next 4 days uh you will be able to see the link in the description of this particular video now many people have also asked me krish uh, what all courses we should probably go ahead with respect to the order now since i have this is my fourth course right so if you probably search for krishnaik in udemy you will be able to see that this mathematics basic to advance will be the first course then you can go with complete machine learning and lp boot camp ml ops and deployment and the third course that you can probably go ahead with is generative ai and if you don't know about this particular courses this course is also somewhere around 90 plus hours of content 90 plus hours just imagine right so much of effort is basically gone in recording all these things then this generative ai is 52 hours plus uh, Uh, i'm also recording one amazing topic in generative ai that is called as lang graph which will just get uploaded in a couple of days so if you probably go ahead and see the syllabus you'll be able to understand so here prerequisite mathematical intuition theoretical every intuition is basically done but uh, i was just talking about this particular course uh, i hope uh, you like this course syllabus and whatever things we specifically discussed at the end of the day this will be a very good course for you all uh, definitely go ahead and try it out uh if you don't like it definitely udemy provides one month of refund policy so within 30 days if you don't like this particular course definitely go ahead and uh, do the refund okay and you'll get your money back now let me just show you how are the materials that i have actually created for this now just see this as an example derivative as a concept everything uh, this is written in this way and in the live session you'll uh, sorry in the live recordings you'll be seeing whatever recordings i have actually done everything i'll write it in front of you and i'll be explaining right why it is used how it is used uh, with multiple mathematical notation with applications everything so you'll just be able to see this is what we have derived how to calculate a derivative so trust me you will enjoy this particular course and this course is as just for 399 it is hardly less than a single time the starbucks coffee i guess uh, but this will definitely add a lot of values so just go ahead and try it out if you don't like it definitely go ahead for the refund right so yes this was it for my side i hope you like this particular video i will see you all in the next video have a great day thank you take care bye bye